But before we get there, all through December we are featuring festive events from right across the region. Tonight is surely one of the biggest yet. Oh yes, it's time to head down to the Eden Project in Cornwall, where the famous biomes are glowing with all sorts of <laughs> treats on offer. Sam Blackledge is live there first night. Sam, this is one of the highlights of the year for so many people. Yes, it certainly is. Welcome to Christmas in the rainforest. The festive season is already well underway here at the Eden Project and we're looking forward to an evening packed full of spectacular light displays and live music. It's fantastic to see people back in these biomes after such a long time because it has been rather a difficult year here at the Eden Project. We're joined now by the creator of Eden, Tim Smith. Tim, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Mm. You must be delighted to be open at all, never mind with these spectacular light displays. Oh, we are absolutely thrilled. I feel a bit like Rip Van Winkle waking up to a new world and the energy that everybody's got as they just want to grasp life with both hands and just with fingers crossed and the news of the, um, the vaccine and stuff. There's a kind of a weird sense of that kind of, it's almost like stage uh, excitement that everybody's got. Please, please let this go well. No, it's marvellous. It's all glittering and gorgeousness abounds, you know. We've even got rain for you, raining on our roof here to make it even more exotic. And it has been a difficult year. As you know, we, we had to say goodbye to um, 169 of our colleagues this year. And it's the most desperate thing to have to say goodbye to people, not because of any fault of their own. And, and our thoughts are with, with them this Christmas time. But the other thing I think, we, we were talking about it when we in, in, in the build-up. I think this is probably going to be the first Christmas. I'm 66, I'm an old geezer now. This is the first Christmas I can remember where hardly anybody is talking about stuff and what they're gonna eat and what they're gonna consume. It's all about being darn grateful for family, friends, and the sheer gratitude for things that you've been taking for granted. So maybe there's a strange gift at the heart of all this of actually bringing us to our senses. I don't know, what do you think? Well, I wanted to ask you about the, some of the attractions that you've got here at the Eden Project this year. Music is a, is a big part of it this year. Just tell us about some of the musicians in the, in the Mediterranean biome. Well, the music's great because of social distancing. We've had to create four stages um, and there's different in instrumentalists on each stage. And it's actually marvellous. They can't sing, you know, but there's, there's going to be great music and there's a, there's a, a glitter ball, the, the size of which is just made to, meant, it's meant to make you smile, you know, go large this Christmas. The ice rink is looking stunning. Um, no, I think between now and December the 30th, I think it's going to be a really memorable thing. We, what we wanted to do was to be not flash. We wanted just to create moments that people would remember for years and years and years. Sotto voce, you know, but beautiful and elegant. Yeah, OK. So, Tim Smith, thank you very much for joining us, creator of the Eden Project. Well, the entertainment is well underway here at the Eden Project. There's always something rather magical about this place in the winter months and there might just be time for us to sneak off for a mince pie and maybe even a glass of mulled wine. Sam, that sounds very good indeed. Thank you very much indeed. That looks lovely there, doesn't it? Absolutely amazing there. Yeah, Tim Smith's jumper was pretty amazing I as well. I love that. Lovely we colours. get one, John T. <laughs> maybe next week.